Hello, I'm Sudipong from EDA International. Today I'm going to show you the IoT Gateway solution from EDA. When you want to record data from PLC, RTU, or controller from Plan 4 into the Microsoft SQL Server, even if it is the private cloud or commercial cloud, such as Microsoft Azure, or the local Microsoft SQL database, you can use the IoT Gateway to getting data from the PLC, RTU, controller via the OPC server. In this box, it has the OPC server that communicate to the PLC, RTU, or any controller in the market. Just you can see, you can choose the OPC server for, uh, for any PLC or controller. The data will log in into the Microsoft SQL Server where the internet and when the internet is broken, it will log in. It's still logging into the local. When the internet is coming back, it will sending data into Microsoft SQL Server. In this video, I will show you how to use the IoT gateway to log in data into the Microsoft SQL Server. In Microsoft SQL Server, you need to create a database. In this example, I will name the database as IoT Log and then hit OK. Now open the IoT framework, right click on techtoons.exe and run as administrator. You need to import a CSV file from the OPC server, then open the OPC server. In the OPC server, you are able to add a device into the OPC server. In this example, I will use the existing OPC tags and then choose File, Export, Definition. Select only tags. And then finish. Now get back to IoT framework and hit import OPC. Choose the CSV file that you have export. You will see the OPC tag. Select all OPC tag into the list and then remove the OPC tag that you don't need to record by double click on it. I will record the data into the local Microsoft SQL Server. If you have the instant name, please insert the instant name. But in this example, I don't have the instant name. Insert the DB name, IoT log. And then the table name. In this example, we don't have the table yet. Then we have to create it. Username 
to connecting to the database and the passwords. The table column corresponding to the signal. If you would like to create the table column uh, to prepare for the future text, you can create it. In this example, I have only nine texts, but I would like to create a column for 30 columns. Click on the SQL button and create table. Copy the code by clicking on copy to clipboard and get back to SQL server. We will create a table. In this example, I will use the SQL command that have copied from the IoT framework. Choose new query. And then right click and face the SQL command. Then execute. Now refresh the table branch. You will see the new table. It has 30 text, 30 columns, and time date column. Get back to IoT framework. Now create the OPC script. Click on Gen OPC script and then copy to the clipboard and click OK. In this example, the collection rate of data logging is 30 seconds. Now, go to OPC server. Right click on the uh, channel of some device and then choose event. On the event window, right click on it, select new script, name the script. And select period for 1000 milliseconds and then face the code click OK the script will work in every one second if you would like to stop it right click and uncheck run If you would like to run it, right click on it and select run. Now get back to IoT framework. Create batch by click on gen batch and click OK. And create a schedule. Click on create schedule and then click OK. Now Go to task schedule on Windows. You will see IoT task. Double click on it. On the tab trigger, you can uh, double click on the trigger and then select, for example, if you would like to change the schedule of the task to two minutes. You can change it. Then click OK. Now you can close the IoT framework. Every two minutes, the data will log in into Microsoft SQL Server. Get back to the table. Right click on it. And select script table as select to new query editor window and then execute you will see the data 
in the table and the collection rate is 30 seconds. The framework will work on the IoT gateway. Just you can see the OPC server and IoT framework working on the fanless PC. Thank you for watching.